I can take 10 to start. On this episode of Cash and Kari. It's usually a little hairy, get the back and forth. Kari and her team are tested when they take on two estate sales at once. And this lithograph could be worth up to 10,000 if it's an original. These were like the baseball cards of American art. Then a mystery unfolds around this old pool table. It's not actually what it appears to be. What is it? I'm Kari Cuxie, and I run estate sales. Whether it's a simple bungalow or a grand mansion, there's always a hidden treasure. I also buy out entire homes, refurbish just about anything, and run my vintage store here in Michigan. I'm a treasure broker. I give dusty relics a new lease on life and make great deals in the process. Sold. Kari is headed to see her customer, Lori. She needs help liquidating the contents of her late aunt and uncle's estate. Bert and Erna lived here, I think, since the late 40s, early 50s. They were married for over 60 years. All right. Let's Bert see. had a lot of hobbies. There are a lot of tools down here. Wow. Yes. Bert's two sons live in Illinois and Arkansas and have already chosen their mementos. So they asked cousin Lori to handle the estate sale on their behalf. There's one more thing I'd like you to look at. Okay. And that is the garage. All right. More tools, I bet. Okay. And this is the garage. Wow. All right. And there's another little room. Oh, the girls are going to love me for this one. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Lots of work in here for you. Then there's this nice storage. This is a really cool cabinet. It's my color too. Green's Green. my color. Yeah. Perfect. I would. Uh, I'd probably be interested in purchasing this cabinet. Oh, great! Oh, One sale already. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> if I see something I can use myself, I'll often make an offer right on the spot. And I think this cabinet's going to be really useful in my warehouse. All right, we can tackle it, Lori. We can handle this. Oh, I'm sure you can. I'm anxious to come back and, and see, see, see yes. the results. Yes. yes. You'll be, you'll be happy. Kari's got her work cut out for her. It will take her team three full days to organize and price Bert's tools for the sale. Whoa. <laughs> I'm what not the heck? <laughs> I'm not sure what that picture's supposed to represent, but it's pretty, um, um, <laughs> naked skink. <laughs> they don't do that in Vermont. <laughs> That is literally a ski oh bum. My oh my gosh. <laughs> this is funny. Can we translate this? Yeah. While Kari and her team were sorting through Laura's uncle's house, she got an urgent call from another customer. Cheryl recently lost her mother and has been left to handle her estate. She is desperate to liquidate the house right away, so Kari will be forced to hold two sales on the same weekend. We're gonna look at some tools. Even though these estate sales are small, they still take work. Everything needs to be dug out, dusted off, and priced properly for customers to see. Kari's fee ranges from 15 to 30%, but that's before her expenses. I'm gonna have my dad come help down here. Kari's asked her father, Chris, to come take a look at Bert's collection of tools and toys. His in-depth knowledge of woodworking and power tools will help Kari lighten her workload. Is this a planer or No, a... that's a wood lathe. Okay. It's good. It's a good use. This is a 12-inch wood lathe. Okay. See right here. Got it. Yep. Sears. Can... Mm-hmm. Obviously, this is a drill press, so... Yeah. All right, what's this guy? The this bandsaw. is a bandsaw. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is Sears Roebuck also. This guy likes Sears and Roebuck. Which is good. This is a 12 inch, so that means it's probably going to be able to cut up to a 12 inch. Gotcha. Okay. I refurbish things here, putting things together for her. I do pretty much what she wants to do. I repair a lot of things. There are something of value here. Chris's love of fishing also makes him an expert appraiser of vintage fishing rods. He often helps Kari research the value of these items whenever they pop up at estate sales. I don't think that's ceramic. You know what? I wonder, you know, I'm wondering, I wonder if that's Bakelite. I, I believe it is. Kari has decided to put Sharon in charge of Bert's boy toys. Paula will handle the sale of Cheryl's mom's more delicate antiques. Both Sharon and Paula are very competitive, so that could boost the bottom line for sales. Kari's estimate for each sale is around $3,000. Good morning. How are you doing? Couple more minutes. Kari and her team are running two estate sales on the same day. 
The lady sale is colorful and pretty. It's jam-packed with girly things like dishes, figurines, and clothing. The boy toy sale is down and dirty, filled with tools, furniture, and fishing equipment. Shoppers are lined up outside, anxious to get in and start spending. Hey, Haas, where you at? Kari's employee, Haas, has called in to say that he's running late. That has Kari worried that they won't be able to properly serve all the customers that are waiting out front. He gave me a laundry list of excuses why he wasn't here, so I just said, I don't want to hear him, just get here. Haas! Good morning. So what happened to you? What's your story this morning? <laughs> I woke up there, I didn't have any deodorant. And then I go outside, because I'm alone in my car to go to the store, and I have a flat tire. here. Oh my, oh my god. god, no deodorant you were Do you have that. deodorant oh, on yeah. now? I wouldn't want deodorant. Okay, listen, I'm getting ready to open the door. I want you to work in the garage. Let's just get through the craziness. Are you ready? Okay, okay let's go let these folks in. I can take 10 to start. Okay, three, four, five, six, seven. I just want to make sure there's actually money in yeah, there. Thank you. I'll do them all for 20 bucks. <laughs> bye bye. I'm not wanted here. Yes, Haas. These license plates yeah. up on the wall, how much? Five bucks each. Five bucks each? Five bucks. This is ridiculous. You men are like in a fury. What's the consensus on the speakers, folks? We're going to buy them, but we're 300 to throw in the Yamaha. I could do a little bit off on the Yamaha. How about 20 bucks off? We'll, make, we'll sweeten the deal. And the real to real? How much is it? Real to real was 50, I think. Okay. For 340, we'll do, we'll do 340. Cool, sounds great. My husband really likes electro voice speakers, but there are people behind us that wanted them too, so that's why we had to be number one. So it's only been 30 minutes. We had a mad flurry of people, the guys running downstairs, out in the garage. How much is this? What's this? Where is this? So it's been good so far. I think we're gonna be steady for a while. This is great. They're not just looking, but they're buying. And I think if it keeps going like this, I've got this competition with Paula B. Running between two estate sales makes for a hectic day. But when things are selling, it's worth the effort, especially when customers take the time to visit both sales. The ideal scenario for Kari would be many customers bouncing all day from sale to sale, looking for perfect pieces of treasure to take home. How you doing? Good. It seems a little quieter than the other sale. Cheryl's mom lived here for decades, building her collection of Venetian Murano glass and vintage jewelry. These items are both collectible and valuable, but so far haven't drawn a crowd. Great girls sale going on, but not too many people are showing up. So I'm gonna steal Haas to put a little more signs out for me. Uh, I think that'll really drive some traffic my way. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, can you drive and yeah. I'll jump out? Do you know where we're going? No. Seriously? I don't. One here. Uh, isn't there one up there? Yeah, just one right there. No, no. I'll, yeah, yes. That's yes. true. Okay. We just got to figure out which angle we're kind of trying to, what, what streets well, are we trying to work? Well, let's, if we just go out. You know what? I'm going to figure this yeah. out. Yeah, two of us together, we can do this. You weren't lying. You did go to get deodorant yep. this morning. While Paula hits the road to drum up more customers, Kari takes John, a member of her sales team, to show him the items she'd like to push at the ladies' treasure trove sale. It's a cool table. Beautiful table. So no bids, no offers, just yet on it? I think one guy might have left an offer on it, but right now it's kind of as it stands. Okay. We have a couple more days. This pool table is so big, it was here when Cheryl's mom bought the house. So we need to find a buyer who is prepared to take it apart and put it back together again. Okay. This bar is for sale. Too. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Push the bar. I will push the bar. <laughs> Poodles and clowns, oh my. You don't want a treasure? These are really funny. The clowns are just kind of creepy. Kari's estate sales have developed quite a following. A group of regular pickers come to almost every sale that she holds. They'll be the key to keeping both sales profitable. And we meet again. You finding treasures down here? I like a digger sale where you gotta go and dig, you know? Tools, knives, uh, anything like that. It's become a passion. I used to be a fisherman, I don't even fish anymore, you know? I'm a knife collector, basically, and I've found some really valuable stuff. And turn around and make, you know, 
five, six thousand dollars, you know, on one night is pretty good. You see the same people, you know what he does, you know what he does, stereos, tools, clothes, buttons, I know button lady, you know. I'm a designer at Ford. I like to do this on the weekend just for fun, kind of dig around and find hidden treasures and then keep some of them and sell them online. With Kari tied up with two sales on one day, she's asked Paula to head back to the store for an appraisal. A customer has brought in an old courier lithograph that could be very valuable. You know, I like to look at these old lithographs because for me, it kind of reminds me of what life might have been like 100 years ago. Our client who lives in Alabama likes those winter scenes too, but he needs some cash and may have to sell his family heirloom. Years ago, we discovered it was a registered courier print, but now he needs a price. It really tells a story, which is the beauty of Nathaniel Courier. He told an American tale. And he was a great marketer. I mean, he, you know what he did? He put them in the Sears and Roebuck catalogs. The yellowing is as a result of all of that really brown, torn oh, paper. Yeah. What that has in it are acids. And then what you've got is a combination of acid burn from those papers on the back and light staining. All right, and now what type of price would you possibly put on this? You know this? what, these were like the baseball cards of American art. Oh, <laughs> That's how true. popular they were. Well, originally, these sold for about one to three dollars, but today, they're rare. If it were hanging on your wall, mm -hmm. it would be worth about $10,000. Oh, wow. Now, what about at auction, if you were to uh -huh. auction this? If you were to auction this, but because this is a little bit compromised, I'm thinking, you know, I would probably put an estimate on it of about four to six, somewhere in that range. We, we definitely have to show this to Kari. She is just Oh, I think she's going to love it, love. don't you? If she does, I'm going to call her back. And if she comes and buys it, you're going to have to clear off the vanity the and the beds. Yeah. Yep. Oh, these guys? There's eight of them and four. 50 oh. bucks. There's a ton of stuff. I'll go 40 for all of them. 50 bucks. Nope. It's our first day. I may be a girl, but I know my tools. <laughs> <laughs> 45 and you give me that one, too. 45, that's fine. Yep. Haas? Yeah? I need you. Here, start loading this up for this gentleman. I <laughs> just, there you go. You. All right. And if you want to find lock cutters for that, that's, I will, I will that's get, a job for you. I will figure something out. OK. I'm looking for some cutters. I'm looking for some cutters. I'm looking for some cutters. Somebody got any bolt cutters or whatever? Eight boxes of everything and anything from files, drills, reamers, taps, uh, screws, toolmaker jacks, there's everything and anything you could possibly want. I got it today. <laughs> yes. I got you. This the drill press? That's the one. All right, it's got 300 on it. What, 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 were, you, what were you thinking? 50 bucks. 50 bucks? Oh, I don't think so. I was thinking more like 200 bucks. How about a buck and a quarter? How about 150? And Haas will carry it out for you. Haas will carry it out for mm -hmm. me? Okay, 150. All right, shake on it, 150. All right, sir, it's been a pleasure. The boy toy sale may have got off to a slow start, but interest really got up ahead of steam in the afternoon. Sharon negotiated a great deal on the drill press, bringing her total for the day well over $1,800. What about this sweet retro bar? You were just at my other sale. Um, yeah, that is pretty cool. Do you have room? No. It's a futon and a chair, actually. And the chair cushion's right here. How about I give you a great price on both of them, and then you can put together the pieces of the puzzle, and everyone will be happy. Do you know, I'm in catch-up mode right now. I think I'm going to have to sell the antique pool table with the inlaid pearl. Uh, I think that's going to be top of my list. Isn't it cool? Oh, wow. Yeah, it's huge, but. Oh, my god, pearl inlaid? Mm-hmm. But that looks like real pearl, too. I looked at them up online. This one was called arcade style. But, I mean, it's a monster. It's ginormous. It was June 22nd, 1909. Wow. That's an oldie. Hi, I'd like to pay for the bar. Okay, alrighty, so that would be 175. Now, if you take it straight up, that's what I was thinking. Okay. Not gonna make it. Up. Nope. That's what I was afraid of. Alright, well, we'll go up into the kitchen. 
Oh man, it won't even fit through there. Well, I'm gonna take these off. And we'll see. There we go. Perfect. Do another evaluation. All right, it up. straight up. Okay, you guys have that under control. Yes. Yeah, even my muscle would have not done that. Just so make sure to let us know when it's up and running so we can... Yeah, come back and get a beer. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so that was 30, and we don't have prices on that. Saw so yeah, the, the thing we go together, I'm like, okay, what do you do? have a singles, which is unusual. There you go. It's at 250 is 13. About $2 on that. Can you work that for you? Back at the Boy Toys sale, Kari uncovered a funky wooden cabinet and bought it for $15. She took it back to the warehouse to see if her refurbishing expert, Stephanie, could bring it back to life. This thing is gonna be so cute. So what are you thinking? I was thinking perhaps we would paint this one yellow. Are you gonna do like a little glaze too? Uh, yep, I'm gonna do a glaze, distress it, and I'm also going to uh, do some detail painting. Perhaps some floral. I love the little little hardware, it's durable. I think you'll uh, make some money on this one. Absolutely, too cute, can't wait. All right, have fun. All right, I'm on it. Normally I would just hand sand a piece to prep it for painting, but in this case there was contact paper that was stuck to the top, so I scraped that off with a razor, and I'm gonna use an electric sander on the top to get the gluey finish off. So color choice is important. If I chose to do this, let's say in purple, uh, we'd have a hard time selling it. At first glance, once this first coat dried, I could see a little bit of bleed coming through here. So I'm gonna come back with oil-based primer, and that'll stop the bleed or any type of stain coming through. And then I'm gonna finish up again with latex. The reason I use latex paint is because it's non-yellowing, and you can also hand decorate with it, and it'll stick. I'm putting hydrangea on the front here. A hydrangea is a flowering shrub, very popular in Michigan. Quick to paint and pretty to look at. That piece would have just been left behind at that estate sale. Nobody would have touched it. It was such a weird, ugly little piece caught in the corner down in the basement. And she, she found it. It was a little hidden treasure there. When I uh, originally put the yellow on this, I decided to uh, distress it some more. And then I also used another antiquing glaze, but I put a lot on and then took a lot off. So it's not dark or overly done. It's the last day of the sale and Karia's slash price is down to 50% off. At this point, clients are highly motivated to clear out the house as quickly as possible so they can put it up for sale. What are you inquiring about the possibility? Well, there's this doodad that attaches to, a whole bunch of blades. I would include such items in the transaction. Such items sit on 125. It's half off. Half off, because so it's 250, so it's that's what half up. Okay. And um, with the saw blades and um, shop back. Okay. And whatever that thing is. You got it. Mm. I'm just married. I need to make a decision with my wife. All right. You guys <laughs> talk it over. I think we should get it. And I'll make you something nice with it. By the way, I thought I'd show you before somebody else told you. I haven't told her yet. Okay. What'd you Safe. break? You didn't Safe. break. What did you dent you up didn't or break. break or bruise or ruin? Look down. It's kind of got some scratches on the wood. You can't really see them that bad. No, you really can't. The guy moved a safe through Yeah, the but this floor is not in that great a condition anymore. All right. I just want to get your heads up. Okay. And I didn't break anything okay. else. Okay. And I didn't yet. Break yeah. I think I scared <laughs> everyone in the house. Early. He's earned his keep today. Oh, OK, good. She's what? been cracking the whip on you? Yeah. A little bit. Every time I think I can sit on for a second, I go, oh, Haas! You got to move something. I know. <laughs> oh, Haas, we love you. I know. <laughs> this gentleman wants to know if the pool table over at the other house is sold. No, it's still there. It's still there. 500. Are you seriously interested? 
Cool. Seriously. Okay. It's not actually what it appears to be. No? What is it? It's an antique, but it's been cut down. It was originally a, a carom table, a billiards table. And I the found the same, like cut. an antique table. It looks exactly like an online. I'm sure you have. Okay. I'm just telling you, that one has been This modified. one's been modified. Okay. We'll go check it out and see what you think. Hi, Paula. How you doing? Oh, I'm good. But I have a gentleman here. Um, We've been going over the pool table. Um, he was looking at, like, 250 for that table. Can he hear me? No, no. Let's just take down his name and number. Because I, okay. that, that pool table is worth more than that. She wanted to try to sell it a little bit different way, but if for some reason that does not work out, would you mind if we contacted you on that price? Not a problem. I held firm because I knew it was old and in good condition. He ended up calling back and buying it for the $500 asking price. My client was prepared to just leave it in the house for the next owner. We're all happy. Went to the sale and I walked down in the basement. I was quite surprised to see it was there. Had a ton of stuff all over the top of it, but the main body of the table is uh, pretty fair condition and a lot of potential to work with. The main body of the, the, the veneer work is mahogany. And then we have uh, the white piping as a cellulose uh, piping. The brown wood or dark black wood is ebony. And then uh, the, the inserts here, you have mother of pearl, and you also have an ebony emily around every piece of mother of pearl on it. To restore this table and the whole thing refinished, I would say I'm uh, probably looking at between four and $10,000. Hopefully uh, we'll get it restored and uh, maybe we'll find it a home in my basement someplace. Two sales on the same day made for a busy weekend for Kari and a healthy competition between Sharon and Paula. The pool table pushed the ladies' treasure trove sale to victory, but both exceeded Kari's expectations. Paula, you are being crowned. Yay. Congratulations, Paula. I'll get, I'll get you next time.